There's a guy out there that was attacking the Hebrew roots. There's a Baptist preacher. Okay? So this is a new video out there attacking me. I'm not against the video. I think it's hysterical. I think it will, if anything, will grow after it because people are going to want to know what I had to say because they're not going to want to know what this guy is so embarrassingly poor in his scholarship. He did do me publicly. His name is Matt Powell. There you go. Look for him. You need to be prepared for that because this Baptist preacher and some of his disciples or whatever are putting out a hit piece on this, the Hebrew Roots movement. They're putting out a movie. They wanted me to be interviewed for it. I told them no. Once I knew who was doing it and what it was about. I mean, I said stronger things than that, but that's okay. I mean, at first I was pretty excited. The guy said he's doing a movie, a movie about the Hebrew Roots. I'm thinking... We've had a few of those out there before. So I said, what's the point of yours? He said, well, i got to be honest. It's a negative piece. I said, oh. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, like you guys believed, you know, believe salvation by works. I said, not exactly. And that's what took me 17 hours to explain. Salvation doesn't require faith. Salvation doesn't require anything. It's a free gift given to everybody that ever lived or would live. Whether you get to enjoy it and on what level has to do with you. Salvation doesn't require faith. And that's what took me 17 hours to explain. So I said, not exactly. So he said, well, that's why I want to interview you. And I was like, mm. then he goes, well, by the way, so-and-so, this, I said, he said, do you know so-and-so? I said, yeah. I said, the Baptist guy? He goes, yeah. I said, because then he explained that that guy helped get him out of the Hebrew Roots movement. He was in it for a few minutes. And of course, he was in it from age 17 to 19. I'm not even sure he was able to drive yet. And he was trying to figure out what to do with his whole life. But anyway, so he thought he understood the movement because I know a few 17 and 19 year olds who have no idea what we're doing. Okay? I didn't have a clue about any of this stuff until I was 23. But anyway, let me tell you the level of scholarship. Okay? So the one gentleman says, I'm sure that Mr. Berkson understands that at Passover, they only put blood on the doorpost once. Once saved, always saved. And then when they pass through the sea, they only pass through it once. Once saved, always saved. Um, that's twice. Uh, twice saved, always saved? I don't... He did say that I was going right to hell. He goes, you're just spiritually blind. I said, so if I wasn't spiritually blind, it would just like be obvious or whatever. So apparently twice saved is, is always saved or something like that with these... <laughs> That was the most unbelievable thing. One of you, some of you will go out there now and look for it. You'll find some hit piece on me. It just came out a couple of days ago, whatever, and you'll find it's hysterical. It's only about eight minutes long. And by the way, that one saved, always saved, only worked for two of the 603,550. <laughs> so apparently it doesn't work that way. Bad scholarship. Yeah, same guy. Okay, so he's going to expose me. Oh, by the way, according to him, I am one of the leaders, one of the major leaders of the movement. He also said that I'm the most wicked of the leaders. Yes. I want a t-shirt that says most wicked Hebrew roots teacher. You know, that's right. And the back of it will say, say twice saved, always saved with thumbs up, two thumbs up. Twice saved, always saved. Okay. Any of you other guys out there, and I know a few of you that they t he told me where they were going to interview this movie. You guys don't fall for it. They're going to do an interview with you and they're going to chop it up and make you look like idiots. Because that's the point of the movie. I think all of us can agree we'd love for this thing, whatever this is, to be done with already. Okay? Okay. 